hello everyone welcome back to another diy video in my today's video i will be showing you how to make this hair oil this is made from uh, very easily available ingredients and which is very good for your hair i'm using amla and curry leaves along with the uh, fenugreek seeds this is the oil for fast hair growth and if you're suffering from uh, dandruff hair falls sc scanty hair dry scalp and dry hair frizzy hair then this is the oil which you would want to use this is good for uh, young and old men and women so if you want to know how to make this hair oil please continue watching to make this hair oil i will be needing one cup of or one bowl of fresh curry leaves these are the leaves which i purchased from the market if you don't have you can also use dried ones uh, this is an easily available ingredient anywhere you can purchase it so curry leaves contain vitamin c vitamin b proteins and antioxidants all of which contribute to the cellular regeneration and promote healthy circulation of blood to your scalp thereby keeping your scalp healthy and promoting hair growth the next ingredient is methi seeds or fenugreek seeds 2 tablespoons fenugreek seeds are rich in protein and it contains a nicotinic acid which will fight hair fall and also dandruff it also has uh, acts as a uh, moisturizing agent for your hair it controls uh, dryness and also balding of your hair it will promote hair growth keeping your hair thicker the next main ingredient of this hair oil is the amla i have 4 to 5 pieces of this it is rich in vitamin c it also has uh, minerals along with the uh, nutrients which is uh, very good for uh, your hair it helps to keep your scalp healthy by improving the blood circulation to the hair it also stimulates hair growth keeps your hair thicker makes it grow longer and also helps to keep uh, uh, keep away dryness of your hair the next ingredient is of course coconut oil i am using this coconut oil 500 ml you can use any brand coconut oil which is available for you uh, you can use a mix of oils also keeping the ratio of coconut oil uh, more you can use uh, castor oil uh, olive oil even almond oil if you want to use so these oils will keep your hair healthy uh, to make this oil easily i will be using coconut oil the procedure is simple all you need to do is mix all these ingredients uh, for that i am uh, just making uh, pieces of these uh, amla cutting into small pieces so that it is easily uh, easily i can easily grind it i am not throwing the seeds i will be using it also and uh, if you have a few pieces of uh, lemons which are dry which have used just the rind of the lemon you can use it in the oil also it will give that aroma uh, so i am using few of those uh, lemon uh, next uh, so you have to mix take all these ingredients put it in a mixer jar and grind it uh, coarsely you don't have to grind it uh, smooth and don't uh, add water what are the whatever the add, uh, content or uh, water content is there in the amla that would be enough to make it into a coarse uh, a paste like this so this is how you need to grind it the preparation of this oil uh, you need to use a double boiler method for that i'm using a pan i have lit the stove and uh, going to heat up the pan so that i can uh, use it as a double boiler method Uh, keep the flame in high and uh, keep a thick bottom the pan where i'm adding uh, oil uh, coconut oil 500 ml if you are using mix of oils you can use that also even kalonji oil would do if you have so here 500 ml of oil i'm adding and i will be adding the ground paste of all these ingredients adding the ground ingredients here in the oil and i am going to allow it to boil in uh, low flame and uh, stir it occasionally and you can see that it will start to boil you need to check it occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the bottom the color of the oil changes to pale green and uh, the ingredients become lighter and this is when you will be ready to put off the stove here it takes at least 10 to 15 minutes in low flame for this to happen
at the end of 15 minutes or so it is easy to make out the oil is done when your uh, spoon moves easily in the oil and the color of the oil has changed and the ingredients have become lighter in the oil so this is the time you can put off the uh, stove and allow this oil to cool so that you can strain it once you have allowed it to cool for 10 minutes then this is ready to be strained so the cooling process should be just for 10 minutes and this should not completely become cool otherwise the ingredients will absorb the oil back into itself therefore when the oil is still warm it is uh, you can easily touch it without feeling the heat then this is the time you can uh, strain this oil and so the next method is to strain the oil for that i'm using a bowl where i'm going to cover it with a cloth this uh, transparent or porous cloth which can easily which i can easily use it as a strainer if you don't uh, want this setup you can use a normal strainer i am using it like this because i have to uh, drain out the last bit of oil also that therefore i am using this setup so here i have uh, just poured all the uh, oil into this and i am going to strain uh, every bit of every last bit of the oil into the bowl so here i am squeezing out all the oil from the uh, cloth i am squeezing the last bit of oil which can come out the reason I have used the cloth is, cloth is because of this. So this is how the residue looks. See it is quite dry. And uh, you don't have to throw this. You can use it as a body exfoliator. You can just mix a little bit of uh, rice flour in this and uh, scrub it on your body. It can uh, remove dead cells. So this oil is ready. You can transfer this into a glass jar. Keep it for at least uh, 3 to 4 months at a room temperature. Nothing will happen. Uh, when you if you want to use this take a little bit or two to three tablespoons of this oil warm it a little bit and apply on your scalp rub it massage it along the length of your hair also you can apply this can be applied overnight you can apply it in the night wash off in the next morning or you can just apply in the morning keep it the whole day and use however you want so this is very good oil for all hair types it will solve most of your hair problems so try this and see how it works for you if you like more such DIYs, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, you can share it also. And thanks for watching.